Welcome back, guys. New Year, whole you. That's the name of Mama Tanya's meal prep plan, and she's here to demonstrate it for us today. So let's get into it. Mm -hmm. Mama Tanya, let's talk about this beautiful spread here. Yes. I see a lot of delicious brands. Uh huh. A lot of us neglect to get a good, healthy breakfast, a nutritious bre yes. breakfast, if we get one at all. Mm -hmm. I'm an intermittent faster, so I very rarely eat breakfast, okay. but when I do have breakfast at 12 o'clock, I still want breakfasty type food. Sure. Um, and I want something that's nutrient dense and it's to keep me nice and full mm -hmm. and one of my favorite things are overnight oats okay it's very simple prep literally in a mason jar and you're up in the morning you grab it you put it in your purse your bag your pocket depending on how big your pants are <laughs> and then what the size of the mason jar is um and so i wanted to tell folks about that because i think not enough folks know about overnight oats and they so really the, are, these are these are it right here those correct? are the overnight oats these and so overnights. yes and this is a little maple syrup that I put in there. And so, so like someone like myself who is conscientious of portion mm -hmm. sizes, okay. uh, I would have a jar like this. This, is, this, is this would be eight, more like it, mine. Yes. This <laughs> is Definitely for bigger. folks who are like, they are throwing caution to the wind. Right. F right. your portion <laughs> control. And we're they want. We're living a, free. Right. That's it. You know? <laughs> no shame in here. Right. And you can do a bigger jar like this. Yeah. But it's still totally, like, this is totally manageable. This goes in a book bag or a purse with very little complication. Sure. Right? And taking up very sure. little are there, real estate. Are there any um, specific benefits for overnight oats or like so, you know, one the great one of the great things about overnight oats is you don't have to cook it. Mm -hmm. Cuz the thing and you're using, I cannot stress this enough. You're not using steel cut oats, right? Okay. You are using just plain Regular, old Quaker, rolled oats. It. it can be the old fashioned, mm -hmm. it can be the quick ones, it doesn't matter because the okay. important thing is that rolled oats are already cooked, right? That's how they're processed. And so when you cook them even further, mm -hmm. then you lose even more of the nutrients. I see. Overnight oats has something in it called, uh, has more of what we call resistant starch. Mm -hmm. And those things help you process fat. Um, it's good for your gut, for the probiotics. It has the type of probiotic that you want in your gut and okay. you get more of it. And you get more fiber. Okay. Um, and so that's one of the benefits of having it this way. Right. Right. Okay. And you, you know, you save time in the morning, not right. standing over a stove, trying to cook it. And then you've got kids that need to run out the door. Right. Take this. And your whole morning is hectic. That's it. Exactly. I have six children. Mm. I'm not making a pot of oatmeal in the morning. Bless your heart. Here you go, baby. <laughs> have, have a good day. Thank go you. out the door. Thank <laughs> you. Um, Fantastic. So what else do we have here? The thing about overnight oats is any combination. It's mm -hmm. amazing. There's some things that you always want to remember. Right. Two to one ratio. Your oats are two your liquid is one, right? If you're thinking about calories, then you can do just water, but that's kind of, right. I wouldn't do water. Right, I, I, I never like, do water with my oats. <laughs> no, never. That's, that's, never. I mean, there might be some folks out there that, but that, that's not me. <laughs> I like a good alternative milk, like a nut milk or oat milk. Mm -hmm. For these, I used oat milk. So oatmeal with oat right. milk. Which milk makes made the most oats. sense, right? Yeah, and oat milk is very, very creamy. And what I like about it is if you're someone who has like a nut allergy, and that's one of the reasons that you don't do cashew or almond sure. milk, um, or milked cashew and milked uh, almonds, then this is really good. It's gluten-free, which I know is a thing for people right. now. Um, it's dairy-free. It's uh, tree nut-free. So this is great. Awesome. Um, or, you know, you can get... This. And, and I just want to like this is all bought from stores, grocery stores in the Bronx. See so your right? your local stores. You were able local to purchase stores. all of these. I'm a big fan of like people really maximizing what's in their communities, and because of folks like myself who worked in under the leadership of other folks who've d done food justice work, mm -hmm. our our local grocery stores look very different than they did when I yes, first started this right, work. Right. Let me point out the one thing here that doesn't that kind of sticks out for me is this piece of salmon right here. Yes. Because um, we have all meal. these, we have these oats, yes. we have the sugars, and I'm just thinking, I'm like, how do we make all of this kind of flow into over here? Right, so this is your morning. This is your evening or your afternoon, right. right? This is what you're taking for lunch or this is what you're coming home to. Okay. Again, I like to put a lot of emphasis, particularly on people who are working a lot. Mm -hmm. And we know in a community like the Bronx, right, there's all this concentration of people who are professionals. We've got people here in our community who are working non-traditional hours. Time really is money. They have right. less time. They're making less money, right? And so we want to keep it simple, right? K-I-S-S. -S, keep mm -hmm. it simple, silly. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of my favorite lettuces, arugula. Mm -hmm. Now, I will 
I will lead with, it ain't for everybody. <laughs> it has a very peppery, sharp taste. Yes, so you can do does. a mescaline, you can do a spring mix, you can do a baby spinach. I just really want to emphasize to people, let's just drop the romaine in the iceberg. Has, iceberg, yeah, I agree with you with yeah. the iceberg. I think it's I think it's Even romaine, time. romaine is good for a sandwich. <laughs> a salad, unless it's a Caesar salad, let's start to get right. a little bit more adventurous. So many of our grocery stores are carrying a larger variety, and things like this have great, uh, they have great calcium. Um, they have a little bit more protein than, mm -hmm. let's say, an iceberg or a romaine. Not a ton, right. but a lot more. Arugula, I believe, per cup has two grams protein. Wow. Right? Okay. And your body loves protein. That's the building yeah. block. That's what it's going to use as fuel. I know a lot of folks love croutons. Croutons, empty, simple carbs, right? Okay. Let's maximize what we got going. Walnuts. Walnuts, okay. Okay, it's a good source of fat. And our bodies need fat. Fat is not the enemy, depending on the source of it. Right. So you want to put some walnuts in there. And we also know that this is good for your skin and your hair. It's a heart, um, heart healthy food. Mm -hmm. um, everything is always about moderation, though. OK? Um, and stuff like this, like if you're going to assemble it at work. Right. These, these things, and I find them Those in the dollar containers. store, these okay. little containers, are your meal prep best friend. OK? okay. So you want to throw that in there. I like to put a little cheese. The reason I love Parmesan cheese is that you get more bang for your buck, ca caloric-wise. Okay. It's low calorie, mm -hmm. but it's got great taste. I and I actually that. prefer to shave my Parmesan like right before I get ready to mm -hmm. use it. Um, shredded cheeses have like food grade plastic in it, something called cellulose. Right. It keeps it from sticking. Okay. Now, it's food grade, so supposedly it's safe, mm -hmm. but I don't always believe the things that people tell me, so <laughs> I like to. I like to. I like to. Simple is better when it comes to right, food. Right. So I shave. You just want to shave a little bit of that in there, okay? I think about an ounce of Parmesan gives you about 60 calories, and you're not going to eat an ounce of Parmesan. Sure. You just won't. Right. So I do want to. I do want to let people know that um, you do have a Patreon. You do have cooking classes that people can access online. Yes. Depending um, on the tier that they are, you right. can get a one-on-one -on -one digital cooking class with me. I do this in my kitchen. My mm -hmm. boyfriend and I, this is our idea of a, of a fun Saturday, <laughs> to get in the kitchen and put these videos together. And Fantastic. so they'll have access to those as well. So we're doing, we're doing salmon, we're doing, mm -hmm. we have the arugula here, mm -hmm. and what else are we adding to this dish? I would then also maybe add some craisins. Also, okay. if you have a nut allergy, a good alternative, seeds, okay. right? Sunflower seeds, pepitas, pumpkin seeds yes, yes. are great alternatives as well for Fantastic. people who have food allergies. I'd throw maybe some craisins in there. Um, raisins for the Beckys, I don't know, whatever, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, and then this whatever is where we, right, this is where people go wrong, the dressing. Okay. I cannot stress the people enough, it is so easy to make your own dressing at mm. home. It keeps for a while, so you can make a, this, you know, at the beginning of the week, and right. you've got dressing for like the next two weeks. Sure, right. This is yogurt base. Again, more protein, mm. low calorie, you can use whole milk uh, yogurt or you can use low fat. I actually stay away from a lot of the low fat foods because of the way they're processed. Mm -hmm. And again, fat is not the enemy if you're sure. doing it in moderation. So sure. I use a whole fat um, yogurt, but that's only got like 60 calories per cup, right? right? So right. again, and you're not gonna not have a too, cup of dressing. Yeah, right. But a not lot of much. dressing, if you look at it, you turn it in the store, it's got soybean oil, all kinds of stuff, sure. lots and lots of sugar, and sure. two tablespoons will be 120 calories wow. and full of sugar. It's not, it's not worth it. And some of them have an insane amount of sodium as well. A lot of sodium, Crazy right? sodium. This yeah, is sure. strawberries, touch of olive oil, whole milk yogurt, a little bit of honey, lots of garlic, mm -hmm. <laughs> little sea salt, little pepper, and it is amazingly delicious. Wonderful. And so you're gonna put that on there. Okay. So I'm assuming that salmon is going to be placed beautifully on and top then, of this. And then, yes, and then we're going to, and I, clearly this is not your whole lunch. I mean, for some people it might be again. I mean, it's definitely I, my I whole don't, lunch. I don't judge you, <laughs> right? But when you're thinking about portion size, you generally want a portion that's about the palm sure. of your hand, okay. right? So that will probably be like the tail end of this. Sure. Put that right okay. on there. Wonderful. So, guys, make sure you stay connected to Mama Tanya on Instagram at Mama Tanya's Kitchen and at the Black Feminist Project to find out how Mama Tanya is creating a nutritious online cooking show and how you can help her out. Check out the patreon.com slash Mama Tanya. Well, that's all for the show, guys. Thank you again for tuning in, and thank you to my guest today for joining thank us you. today. Thank, thank you. Thank so you so much. Tanya. This is Foodie Down Bronx. I am your host, M. The Hungry Dominican, reminding you to feed your mind, feed your body, and you see me coming along, feed me.
です。<笑><笑>